Welcome to Sculpture Studios, creating a theatre prop in this video for the London Palladium. Famous every year for its fantastic pantomimes, we're now working with Mark Sherwood from Kudos to create something a little bit special for their resident dame Gary Wilmot to enter the show in. Here's Aidan, the big bad boss, to begin the project. Here we are, Ooh. just about to start this project, making um, a London cab. We want it broken down into two parts so it can fold in half to get on stage. And uh, this is the start of the project, see how it progresses. For this job, we're actually only going to be creating one side of the taxi, split right down the middle, so effectively the driver's side. And that's the driver's side here in the UK folks, the proper side. Not only does this save on overall cost for the client, as we're only creating one half of a car instead of a full 3D shape, but it means the prop will take up far less room backstage, which is always something to consider in the theatre. No doubt the dame's dresses are going to be large, so this also means she can get into the car via the rear side, where the car's effectively going to be open. Beginning the process by gridding out our large blocks of polystyrene or styrofoam and mapping the taxi out from side view, the bulk of the material is cut using a hot wire. Aidan's now going to work with wire brushes to start carving the forms of the car body. Aidan, yeah. your taxi's here. Oh, okay. All hail Sean. Hail. Oh, hail a cat. That took me a second there, not gonna lie. That <laughs> took me a while to get it. Yeah, I didn't get it. What are you doing, Aidan? Well, I'm trying to give this a bit more of a 3D feel all over. It's already got enough depth, but we wanted to give it just more dimension to the whole lot. So when you look at it in shadow, all these the different levels have a different sort of uh, and a lighting approach to the whole thing. So when it's on stage at the London Palladium, it should look really, really nice. Plus we can chrome up these certain areas in here and up here and the hubcats. Um, yeah. Now, Aidan, yeah. what you're really doing? What am I really doing? Oh, don't, Sean, I'm getting really tired of you doing things like that. <laughs> <laughs> Once the polystyrene carving's complete, we go over with our usual sticky back tinfoil. This creates a barrier between the foam and the resin that's going on top, and we need to make sure that every square inch is covered so there are no breaches. This is then given a blanket coat of glass fibre, the foam is going to be removed from the inside of the job, and the finish will be worked up. With the taxi naturally being used inside the theatre, we're using a Class O resin for this job, which is fire rated for indoor captive audiences. Though this blanket coat route does save having to have a mould created, it does still require a lot of working up to get a decent finish. This is a car after all, so a car body finish could be argued as necessary, but this is going to be seen from an audience point of view, so the main thing is the shape, the colour, and the finish is good enough from this distance. A mould making route would be much more expensive for the client, and would definitely be needed if a car body finish were required, but we're tailoring this job to the requirements of the prop. But it's exhausting back there, Kev. Cool, it's non-stop round here. Another way to make this prop more theatre friendly is that we're installing a mobility scooter inside. Much like our Ant-Man and the Wasp miniature bus, if you've seen that project video, it allows somebody to actually drive the vehicle, and this will save the backstage crew from needing to physically manoeuvre this on and off the performance space. Right, and here we have the taxi. Clive here, over the course of the week, single-handedly, rubbed it down, refilled it, sanded it over and over and over. What a fantastic job, Clive. And it's now got a lovely finish on it. Oh, and there's Dobchitsky, his passenger. Any words of wisdom about the, uh, about the taxi? It's good. Yeah, it's good, there you go. And so now, all the inside's been hollowed out, all the polystyrene's been removed, 
all these window sections of glass fibre have been taken out as well and now Clive's about to prime it once more to see what we've got. I say Clive, maybe Jess can do it instead. Flatten it completely, <laughs> flatten it completely back. Uh, and this grey primer will act as a base coat for the black artwork that's going on top. Yeah, we've got you, we've caught you. We're installing two brand new batteries onto the scooter, which has been in the workshop for a while now, literally gathering dust, and this is to make sure that it's in perfect working order for the couple of months that the Panto runs for in London over the Christmas and New Year period. To begin the artwork, a 2K grey primer is being applied, and this is where you can really appreciate how good the finish has been worked up to, considering it's just a fiberglass blanket coat. Obviously we can physically touch the surface and feel any bumps or imperfections, but from your point of view, with all the filler and sanded areas, just from a visual stance, it's only now that you can see what we've got. We're using car body paints, not only for the fact that it is an actual car, but it provides a much stronger finish than regular water-based emulsions. Here we are, beep beep. Grab the door for him there, Tesso. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Cheeky passenger. Well, thank you, Kieran. Special delivery. Here you go, mate. Uh, just around the block. Where you go, mate? There we are. Anyone would think it's uh, just a normal cab. Oh! Obviously, we need to try and test out the cab's full capabilities before anyone else has access. It's just part of the job. Oh, don't know what the fare is, do you? No, you don't. <laughs> On the Palladium, mate. So that the door can open and close without the need of any sort of latch or working handle mechanism, we fortified magnetically around the edge. Here you can see how interior platforms have been created behind the driver for the dame to sit on. We also create an instructional video including all of this information for the backstage crew handling the cab. This way they know how to access the metalwork that's been added to the inside, so they know how to install and uninstall the scooter. We also include a basic demonstration of how the headlights and the taxi light at the top operate, which are just simple torches so they can replace the batteries easily. All of these additions, like the reflectors, the clear perspex for the windows, and the silver artwork on the window trims, are elements that just complete the sculpture. Now it's all ready, it's off to the London Palladium. We've kindly been sent some footage of the taxi being used at the theatre for the entrance of the dame, and though it seems like a lot of work for barely 10 seconds on stage, remember that this needs to be used again and again, consistently for the next few months. This means it needs to be strong, durable and reliable, and besides, they say in the theatre that there are no small parts anyway. We'd like to thank Mark Sherwood from Qdos Entertainment for coming to us with the work, and undoubtedly there'll be another project in the pipeline for the future. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook, and follow at Aidan Hines on Twitter, and for more of our work, visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching.